Hello, my name is Alec, this is my assistant Henry. Welcome to the Science. Today we're going to test how fresh these eggs are. Let me tell you what I've got for our experiment. I've got a duck egg and two different chicken eggs which aren't of the same age. And I've also got a selection of quail eggs from the supermarket. For the testing I've got two containers full of water and, a pl and some plates. First we're going to do the float test. You need to have a container of water, the water has to be deeper than the eggs long side, and your eggs of course. Um, I'm now going to test this egg. Ooh. Let's have a look at how the egg is positioned in the water. If the egg is lying flat on its side, then it's still really fresh to eat and you've definitely got a good egg to cook. If it's lying on, on its side, just tilted upwards slightly like this one is, it's still really good to eat, just not quite as fresh as the previous one. If it's standing on its tip, then you need to proceed with caution. But if the other tests prove fine, then you could think about eating it. If an egg is floating in the water, then you need to have a look at it closely in other tests before you think about eating it, though I wouldn't actually eat it anyway. This one's standing on tip, so you're going to have to have a look at this one. I put the egg that was a bit suspicious there, so let's now test the quail eggs. I think there are two eggs that I need to test a bit more. So I'll put them to, si to the side with the duck egg. So let's have a look at the sides. The egg shell is porous, so air gets through the shell. And as the egg ages, the more, more and more air comes through the shell and accumulates in the air pocket. The air helps to make the egg float. Also, as the egg ages, the proteins that are inside it and make up the egg white actually start breaking up and they let off gases. This is another thing that helps the egg to float. Our second test is a sloshing test. You pick up an egg and shake it next to your ear, of course. It, you will feel wobbling because a raw egg wobbles, as we found out in one of our previous videos. But if it's an old egg, you should hear sloshing sounds. As an egg ages, it wobbles more because proteins inside the egg start becoming li more liquid-like and so the egg yolk moves around more easily. This one doesn't feel, I don't hear any sloshing sounds on this egg, so by the sound from test two, I this one looks like it's okay to eat. Test three is a smell and plate test. I'm going to crack open the eggs that are suspicious from test one and have a look at the inside. The third thing I'm looking at is the colour of the egg yolk and the egg white and whether there are any spots on them. If the egg yolk or egg white are any suspicious colours, then they're bad. Also, if they have any dots on them, then that, that also means that they're bad. However, these ones, they don't have any spots that are interesting. And 
just to tell you that like, um, if the yellow is lighter or darker, it just means that it's a different egg, because no eggs are exactly the same. Well, if they smell like rotten eggs, you'd smell if they were rotten eggs closely. These ones don't smell like rotten eggs, so by by smell they're okay. Whether whether the egg yolk is flat and whether egg white is liquid, the egg white's definitely a liquid, but the egg yolk's not really much flatter than it should have been. So let's have a look at the science behind it. As the egg ages, the, the proteins inside the egg white break up, making it to become more watery, and the membranes holding the egg yolk together weaken. That means that the egg yolk can't keep its shape as well, and it also gets flatter. If too much protein breaks up, or if bacteria or fungus get in, then it will smell bad, and you'll see spots or the egg yolk or an egg white will change colour. If you have any eggs that are like that, throw them away. These eggs are okay. They're, they, they are a bit old, but they're still okay to eat. Mummy and I are going to make an omelette with them, after we've cooked them, of course. <laughs> But I'll now show you some eggs that were really bad, no, not at all good to eat. No. Thank you for watching. Give it a go at home as well, and if you find any other tests that could, are useful to find out how fresh an egg is, please tell me. I'll be able to share them with other people. Hope to see you again soon. Bye!